Hello, welcome to Dawa CIT. The first time I am revealing my face in this channel. Eventually, I already revealed my face in another channel. One is iTech Universe and another one is Dawa Official. iTech Universe is just similar to my this channel Dawa CIT, which I upload technical related videos like mobile and computer tips and tricks, programming, web designing and development etc. And this channel Dawa Official is my blog channel. And I hope you will give the same love to both of these channels that you have given to love this channel of mine. So don't forget to support and subscribe these two channels. So today we are here to discuss a very important question which is mostly asked in interview that is how you can remove a duplicate records from the database table. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you want to know the same topic in Hindi, I have given the link in the description below. Just go and watch. I already created database and table. See, customer is a database name and customer details is a table name. So now let's check a table. Select star from customer details. Select all and execute. Look at here, there are very few records in this table. So that's why it is very easy to know where and which rows are duplicated. This. These are duplicated. But if the records are more than thousands, then it becomes a very difficult to find where and which rows are duplicated and how many times has it been repeated. If you want to know for that, you have to write a very simple query. Select customer ID, comma, customer name, C name, comma. Now use here count function. Count bracket open and close, and within the bracket, type here star symbol as duplicate row num so after that type here from table name so what is my table name customer details right and enter group by customer id comma customer name select all and execute here you see first of all customer id is 4 right if you want to keep sequence wise customer id then for that you have to write here order by customer id select all and execute okay sequence wise customer id done look at here in duplicate row num there is numbers and through this row number it is known which row is duplicate and how many times it is repeated here you see first of all customer id is one and duplicate row num is also one one means this is just one row it doesn't have any duplicate row in the whole table and look at here in the customer id 2 duplicate row num is 3 what does it mean that is there are two more duplicate rows except this row in the whole table after that you see in the customer id 4 also the same thing found repeated two times right so you know this query through you will easily know which rows are duplicated and how many times it has been repeated so now let us understand how to got this result how to work this query internally so let's go look at here first use of group by group by is used to arrange the similar and same data into groups say two two and this two same data so now it is arranged into group how like that 
and then it combines the multiple rows into single row with the help of count function just like that these three rows are combined into one row okay so for that we need to delete these two rows and make one row and count function will count group of rows and give a number into duplicate row now here how many rows are combined in customer id 2 there are three rows are combined into one row right so count function will count here three okay here in customer id 1 only one row no combined right so here count function is one as the same in mayank lama in customer id 3 and now look at here in the customer id 4 is also two rows right and these rows is also combined into one row and the count function is here two so look at here in duplicate row num row number is one three one two as the same in one three one two now let's talk about how to delete the duplicate rows so for that you have to use common type expression here so let's write a query with customer cte that means common type expression as bracket open and close and inside this bracket type here select star why star is given here because we have to show all the column like customer id customer name address mobile number and email id etc but if you want you can give in the column name according to you i mean the column you want to show that column name you have to give here now comma row number bracket open and close row number is a function that assign a sequential number to each row like one two three four and you know in row number we use over keyword over this is a keyword bracket open and close and inside this bracket type here partition by customer id order by customer id as duplicate row num duplicate row num why i have written here that i have already told you it is just the name of a column and it will have a number in it and then type here from table name customer details after that closing bracket and type here select star from this table name so you know how does it work this query internally i mean row number partition by customer id and order by customer id why we have been used here we will also discuss that later okay but first let's execute this query select all and execute see fetch all the rows with duplicate row num column right so here you can see that in duplicate row num column the row number is given sequence wise within partition by customer id and order by customer id right so let us first understand why we use here row number partition by customer id and order by customer id in this query first of all row number what does row number do row number provides numbers to all the rows in the table just like that one two three four five six seven these are all the numbers which are provided by row number I mean row number assign a sequence number for each row and now what does order by customer id do here you see in the customer id 1 2 2 3 4 and then 2 after that 4 
that means customer id is not a sequence wise i mean customer id is not in ascending order right so that's why order by customer id use here so that the customer id is in ascending order just like that in ascending order say all customer id is in ascending order after using order by customer id right now it is the turn of partition by customer id what does partition by customer id do partition by is used to partition rows of table into groups i mean partition by customer id is used to make a group of all the customer id in the table just like that the same customer id make a group and separate who are not right so done partition by is row and now the first row number start from 1 if we use partition by customer id we write here 1 and then continuously you know order by use here so here 2 and 3 this is also the first row so here the first row is start from always 1 after using partition by right and also change here 1 and 2 so all done look at here in duplicate row num column is partition the first row number starts from 1 see 1 1 1 1 right there are four partition right hope you now understood why we use here row number partition by and order by so now come back to the sql server look at here one 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 accepting all one will be here and greater than one will be deleted because these all are duplicate like two three and we have to delete how to delete this duplicate rows for that you have to write a very simple query so remove select star and type here delete from customer cte where this column name okay duplicate row num we type here and greater than one what is the reason for writing greater than one here look at this table the row number which is one will remain and the row number which is greater than one will be deleted i mean accepting all one will not be deleted and greater than one will be deleted so that's why a greater than one is used here so now select all and execute three rows affected that means the three rows are deleted so now let's check a table select start from customer details and execute now look at here there are only four rows all duplicate rows are deleted right so in this way you can easily delete duplicate rows so hope you guys are like this video thank you so much for watching jai hind